Hello guys, I'm Dr. Alicia and in this video I'm going to discuss the common mistakes done uh, while preparing for and while attempting the NEET examination, uh, specifically the NEET SS exam. So uh, as this is the preparation phase for NEET SS 2022, the most common mistake done while preparing for any entrance exam is getting carried away while reading a few or a certain topics and not dividing time or not managing time adequately so, so that you can also not only read all the, all the topics but also revise them at least twice. So the tendency is to keep on doing the hard work and forgetting to do the smart work. So if you cannot revise a topic twice, then uh, there is pretty much no use of reading the topic also because uh, there is high likelihood that after reading a hundred such topics, you will not remember the first nicely so that you can answer the question correctly. So uh, you have to do smart work. You have to manage your time adequately so that every topic can be revised at least twice. Now, when it comes to uh, attempting the exam, uh, so first thing that needs to be done is uh, reading the instructions very carefully. So uh, a common mistake is also that uh, the instructions are not read carefully. What is marked for review would be included or not be included tends to be overlooked. And sometimes uh, in the exam stress, it becomes a panicky situation and uh, sometimes a mistake can be done in this regard so reading all the instructions carefully uh, and managing time in the exam also so every question in this neat essays will have one minute since there are 150 questions in 150 minutes so uh, another common mistake is attempting one question for too long so that there is no uh, enough time for seeing all the questions at least once and then going through the questions you mark for review again so uh, an important part would be uh, to manage your time adequately in the exam also and not spending so much time on one question and especially if after reading the question and all the options if you cannot rule out multiple options then uh, and if it's been approaching more than one minute then you should go to the next question and not spend spend too much time on one single question then another common mistake that is done is uh, not reading the question properly and not reading the options properly. So we know that in these entrance exams, there are multiple topic repeats, but topic repeat should not be considered a question repeat and every question should be read nicely. There are things like uh, all except, all, uh, all of the above or none. These words should be read uh, separately in your mind. You should highlight those words in your mind. Okay, okay, they have asked all except. So I have to answer for all except. Um, so reading the question carefully and knowing what is being asked in this question. And then going through the options carefully. All the four options should be read before answering the one right answer so sometimes what happens is after reading the question and reading one answer which could be partially correct and not completely correct uh, one may have a tendency to choose the answer before even reading all the options so that should never be done because in one uh, and in one question there could be four option in which one could be partially correct but there will be another option that is that has the whole answer in it so uh, jumping to one right answer without uh, reading all the four uh, options is a major mistake and should be always avoided you should read the question and answers very carefully before choosing the correct answer another common mistake is under attempting the paper considering that there is a lot of negative marking and underestimating your own own self in the paper so uh, since all of us have done md and uh, or dnb in pediatrics so you've gone through the entire pediatrics at least once before appearing for this exam so there would be questions that you have not read in the last three or four months but those you have read sometime back in life and uh, you should not feel underconfident while attempting the paper you should try to rule out the options after seeing the uh, options that are given a to d so you should try to rule out ki, okay this cannot be the answer and this is likelihood of being the answer so uh, rather than directly jumping onto the conclusion that i haven't read this topic in the last four months so i'm not going to answer uh, this uh, this thing should not be done you should try to rule out after seeing the options and if you can choose between two options then definitely you should mark that answer and not 
worry about the uh, negative marking on the other hand they should not be over attempting also if you don't know if you have no clue about that question you might as well leave it because yes there is negative marking and uh, sometimes it can contribute to changing the ranks also so uh, maintaining a balance between under attempting and over attempting is important uh, while attempting the neat ss exam like any other entrance exam in the end i would say that keep preparing with a good consistency with dedication and while doing smart work and i'm sure that you'll be able to do it bye bye